All right, let's do it. Let's warm up. Okay, team, go ahead and give me a little jog in place here. Nice and light. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, you can also march in place if it feels better for your joints. It's whatever works for you, okay? Love it, love it, love it. I'm actually already feeling a bit of weirdness in my foot, so I might do a little more of this today. Don't let that stop you from rocking out and having fun, okay? If I'm going a little bit lighter, that's just because my foot's being weird. But you go for it, okay? All right, speaking of, go ahead and give me some butt kickers. Welcome in. Good. If that's not feeling great for you, you can also hand curl here. Either works. I'll be doing this. And you can turn while you do it too. It looks fun. I feel like I should teach steps too. That'd be really fun. Seriously, it's so fun. Sorry. <laughs> fun here. All right, let's switch to knees. Go ahead and give me either reach knees here or high knees here. Either works. Yep. Go for it. Awesome. Whew. Couple more seconds. We're just gonna do one more here before we move down to the mat. There we go. And three, two, one, and break for foot speed. We're gonna do quick feet here. Thinking about kind of staying on the balls of your feet, right? Keeping those knees bent, trying not to be too tall. Bend on down. Makes you run faster. <laughs> if you feel everything jiggling, you're totally doing it right. I used to teach a class that had a, a large group of older people and, and they hate this move every time. And I was like, man, that was making progress. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, break. Did your calves feel nice and warm after that? Okay, um, come down to your mat. We're gonna inchworm, hinge at the waist, Walk out into a plank, hold it for a couple seconds, check your form, and then walk it back in. Go ahead and give me five of those, please. Five of those. Good. Feel free to take small steps with those hands so you can really get a chance to work that core. Okay. So wait. Once you've done five of these, you're gonna stay down, pop one foot forward, twist both up towards the ceiling and under your armpit, and then you'll switch. So, foot towards the hands, twist towards the ceiling, reach under the armpit, and switch. We'll try to get about four on each side here, but it doesn't matter if you get all of them or not. Just go for it. A twist and some core. Some hips. Yeah. All righty. And three, two, one. Lock it back in. Stand on up. Take your feet nice and wide for me. We haven't done this one in a couple weeks. You're going to hinge at the hips. You're gonna reach your opposite hand to your opposite foot, twist towards the ceiling, and switch sides. Making sure you're coming all the way back to center every time. Whew. Awesome, keep going. I had a specific playlist checked out for today, so I'm gonna pull that up real quick. It's a good one too though, I think. Okay. Couple more here. All righty, three, two, one. Bend your knees, take your feet a little wider if you can. Push your knees apart, lovely. Now you're gonna push one shoulder forward. Look up towards the ceiling, away from that shoulder, and then switch sides. Go ahead and keep switching at your own pace. See what feels good. One more time. Awesome, all right. You feel warm, feeling stretched? Take another minute, do what other stretches you need to do. Maybe it's a quad stretch, 
Maybe it's a hip stretch. Take a second, do a stretch. If you want to grab some water, you totally can. Yeah. All right, we're gonna, in a bit, we're gonna start with a little review of all of the basic techniques we'll be using today. We're gonna do roundhouse kicks today too. It'll be so exciting. Has anyone done a roundhouse kick before? What's that? That's a hitch kick. That's like extra hard. This is like fairly basic, but still hard. <laughs> no one? Oh, you have, you have. Okay, okay, okay. Long time ago. That's fair. That's fair. Good. So this is like it's like re like re review, recovery review. I don't know. All right. Um. So let's start off with our punches, though. So in your fight stance. Oh, right-handed people. You're all right-handed. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Love it. Right foot goes out and then back. Stay up on the balls of your feet. Hands up by your eyebrows. Go ahead and give me a march in place. But you're going to keep your feet a little bit wider. Maintain a little bit wider balance to support the normal. Good. All right, this is your fight stance. You can also add a little hop, a little shuffle here. Keep it moving. Keep it light. Good. All right, I team. Let's do some jazz. I'm having fun today. You ready? This is, no, this is just me dancing. Okay. Ready, sit. Let's do some jazz. You're going to jab, take it back. And jab, take it back. And jab. You got it. And big, strong fist. Aim with your big two knuckles towards the center of your face there. You're turning your hips a little, but you're mostly reaching with your shoulder. Cool. Couple more here. Let's add a shuffle. Punch and punch. Fantastic work, team. The best part about this one is that I want you to focus on bringing your hand back to guard every time. When we add it into a combo, if you don't bring that hand back, you're a little bit defenseless, okay? So let's go ahead and do 20 more seconds here. Practicing. Bring it out, bring it back. Good, you got it. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Let's do some crosses. Reach, bring it back, straight punch. First two knuckles towards your nose in the mirror. Good, we're turning that rear foot. We're turning those hips, really strong core here. Good. Once we've started to get warm, get a little faster. Good, let's add a shuffle. Oh, it's hard to shuffle. There we go. If, you, if, it's, if it's too hard, don't do it. It's totally fine, it's really, I like it took me a second to really get it. Good, a couple more. Again, bring that hand back to your face. I like to go higher than that, safer than sorry, right? All right, three, two, one, and break. Cool. Let's do some front kicks. Ready, ready. When you do your front kick, I don't care which leg you go with first, but pick your knee up. Push forward, remembering if you were to try to kick the door open, you have to push it, you can't just swing it. Cool, let's do it. 30 seconds, take a leg, three, two, one, here we go. Good. Take this 30 seconds to think about form. Use your core, keep those hands high. There we go. You might notice you lean away from that kick a little. That's good. Push those hips forward. Awesome. So these are front kicks. Let's switch your legs. All right, 30 seconds on the other leg. Here we go. Knee up. Push. Good. Try to keep those hands up if you can. Awesome. Nice work, team. Really push with the hips here, too. Extend, extend. There you go. And three, two, one, and break. Awesome. Let's do one more. Elbows. Uh, I love elbows. They're short range. 
I can only elbow someone if I'm this far. I cannot punch them. Um, I can elbow them. Does that make sense? I, that was English, hello. Okay, anyways, when you elbow, turn your thumb in towards your chest in that fist so that your bony part of your elbow is exposed. I want you to think about slicing. Like if you're gonna slice, you're not gonna try and use your whole body weight and slam, right? We want more of a fast slicing motion. Yes, think of your elbow as a sharp object. That works for me, cool? Let's do a rear hand, elbows. Three, two, one, here we go. Start slow, turn your elbow in, slice across, bring it back. Good, try to bring your hand back to guard in between every elbow. Yes, I'm seeing some beautiful pivoting and turning. That's awesome. Couple more seconds here. We're gonna switch to that lead hand. Same thing, other hand. Ready, set, here we go. Elbow, reset. Yeah, this is tricky because on the lead side, you gotta turn your hip the same time you reach for that elbow, right? Once you can coordinate all of those things, that'll be really strong, really slicey elbow. Couple more. And three, two, one, and break, fantastic. Those are all the techniques we're using for the first two combos, okay? Uh, before we do the combo, I'm gonna show you the conditioning. This is where your weights will come in handy. I'm gonna be super mean, okay? Actually, I had a better idea. We're gonna work our push-ups. <laughs> okay, so stand behind your mat. Make sure you have enough space because we're gonna get moving a bit. I'm gonna have you. Oh, okay. This sounded like a great idea and then I had to do it. All right, you're gonna lunge back. You're gonna kick. You're gonna come down and push up. And I am going to use my knees. And that's fine. Cool. <laughs> Lunge back. You just switch your feet front kick. Come down for a push up. Coming up however you need to. Go ahead and try it. If you can push up on the dumbbells, great. If you need to put them down and use your hands, that's fine too. Good. I know. And if you need to also be near your mat so you can put your knees on the mat, that is fine. Do what you got to do. Love it. Good. Yes, fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little, a little taste of like the full speed version. If I were wanting to go really, really hard in this workout today, it would be a lunge, kick, and push up. Lunge, kick, push up. Okay, I was really tired, but you got this. Uh, make sure you do both sides. So do another 30 seconds of the other side if you need to. Other leg goes back, switch, kick, and push up. Oh, you already did both sides, y'all? What's up? Sorry. I'm sorry? Yeah, if you want to, go for it. Yeah, totally. Although, good, good for you. I tried this in socks once and I like fell every single time I tried to kick. Okay. Any questions on the conditioning? No. Awesome. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Let's do the combos. Right handed people. Okay. Let's, you can do it with me here. I'm totally fine to join me. We're gonna start with the lead front kick. You're gonna follow with the cross. This is where it gets tricky. Take your right foot, step it towards the diagonal corner there. And then you're gonna spin over your shoulder for an elbow. You're gonna look over your left shoulder, to deliver an elbow. And then you're just gonna take it back and reset however you need to. Cool. Yeah. This is gonna be 30 seconds of technique. Don't have to go super fast, okay? So again, lead front kick, land forward and wide cross, spin elbow, reset your stance. One more time, I don't know, it's tricky, it's tricky. Lead front kick, good, cross. Right foot steps diagonally towards the door and look left for your elbow. Good, take it back. Yeah. One more time, one more time. Lead front kick. Cross, elbow, good. Um, just for kicks and giggles, um, if you wanted to be super, super cool with this, you would lead front kick, 
you would cross, but you would intentionally miss because that weight shift is going to pull you into that elbow, if that makes sense. Uh, if you want something to think about when you're doing that, you can really think about that cross kind of going past their face a little, following through with that elbow. Cool? Yeah, love it. And then extra bonus, bonus points, if you can think about doing that elbow and then like getting out of the way, kind of like ducking or bobbing and weaving, whatever you need to do. Okay, let's try that all together. I'm gonna give you about 20 seconds here. Just practice that combo. Three, two, one, here we go. Lead front, cross, elbow, reset. Take a second, hop around, good, and go for it. Good, take your time, go for it, keep going. I know, you're good. Go slow at first, take your time. If you have long hair, you might notice you have to stop yourself, <laughs> your hair from hitting yourself. Three, two, one, break, awesome. You see, does anyone have questions? Cool. Footwork tech challenge there, cool. So um, we're gonna do combo and then lunges on one side, combo lunges, combo lunges, that whole thing. Ready? Okay, let's do this, four minutes of fun. I'm very excited. Can you hear it in my voice? <laughs> All right, combo first. So it's what we just did, lead front, cross, spinning elbow, and three, two, one, let go, combo first. Lead front, cross, elbow, reset. If you get dizzy at any point in time, you can just stay straight. Give me a lead front, cross, elbow, that's totally fine. Woo, 10 more seconds. All right, get ready for those weights. Three, two, one, come on down. We got that lunge, front kick, push up. Okay, keep going, keep going team. And three, two, one, combo. There we go. Lead front, cross, elbow. Yeah. Again, if you get dizzy at all, stay front. Just give me a cross and then an elbow this way. Cool? And three, two, one. Grab those weights. Here we go. Same side, same leg. Just realized I could just do this on my mat. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, combo. Woo, we got this. Take a breath. Oh yeah. Woo, you're rocking that spin, y'all. Oh gosh, my hair. Nice, there you go, yeah, that's it. And three, two, one, grab those weights. And three, two, one, last time on this combo. Here we go. Whew. Yeah, you can also lead front, cross, elbow. Almost there, almost there, one more. Three, 
two, one, grab those weights. There we go. Oh gosh. Almost there, team. Give it your best shot. And three, two, one, and time. Nice work, nice work. Okay, grab some water. A small sip, a small sip of water if you like. Okay, okay. I hope there wasn't anyone in the waiting room. Oop. All righty. When you're ready, come on back. We're gonna switch into the next set to give your legs a little break. This is where we're gonna land some roundhouse kicks. <laughs> and uppercuts, okay. Roundhouse kicks are a more of a swinging kick. If I were to take a baseball bat, Imagine from my hip down as a baseball bat, actually, because baseball bats don't have a joint in the middle. Imagine your leg is a baseball bat the whole way. You're gonna take your leg, pick it up and swing it. Um, all that means is I'm gonna take my leg, I'm gonna pick it up and swing it. <laughs> it looks weird, but hear me out, hear me out. Um, you can aim for multiple areas of the body. You can aim for shins, ankles, knees and thighs, hips, heads if you're super like flexible, I'm not. I'm not there. Maybe you are. I don't know. Good for you. But um, right house kick. You're gonna. I like to take a step to wind my hips up. You're gonna pick your leg up and swing it like a baseball bat. Yes. So the idea is, when you're using your legs to create this momentum here, you're gonna have to pivot on this standing leg. If it's hurting you to pivot, I would much rather you plant your foot out and then snap the kick. All right, that is totally a viable kick. It, it works. It's not what I necessarily want 100%, but it's a great kick. I think it's awesome to practice. Cool. So I either pl plant your foot out and give me a snap kick, or go for the roundhouse kick full on, swing your leg like a baseball bat, and boom, kick. You might end up spinning. Good. Um, real, real quick uh, technique detail. If you think about picking your knee up, pointing your toes and then turning your hips so that my hips are facing that way now, that's gonna get you a better roundhouse kick. Yeah, because you're gonna actually be able to aim with your shin, which is the hardest part of your leg right there. This hardest, strongest part. Well, so if you're wondering about it, you can think about picking your knee up and then turning your hips, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Yep. All together, it's a little tricky to do. Um, and let's, let's just try it actually all together. Um, I'm gonna have you step on your left foot, pivot and land facing that way. Good. If you put your hands on your hips, which I wouldn't recommend in Thailand itself, uh, step, pivot, turn facing that way. This is where I want your hips to be doing. You're starting here. All you're doing is like a quarter turn for the hips. Cool? Kind of like that. Yeah. So now just pick your knee up, pivot and land that way. Take it back if you can. Yep. Good. Maybe one more time for fun. Yeah, good. So now the best part, take your knee up and then turn your hips as you go. Yeah, so you got it. Nice, nice, nice. This is a very challenging move. If you want, you can think about it as if there was a laser attached to your knee. You want the laser point to kind of pointing that way at the end. Yeah, cool. And if you absolutely feel like you're comfortable with it, you can stop midair, that's fine. But I don't recommend it until you're really comfortable with it. Do what you gotta do, protect your knees, thank you. I felt a little something just now. I was like, oh, that's not good. Those are roundhouse kicks. Uppercuts. You're going to, in this case, you're gonna wind up in a lunge-ish position. This is a workout class, we're gonna lunge. You're gonna pop your fist right out in front of you. Palm is facing towards you. Notice it's chin height. I'm aiming for my chin in the mirror, I'm gonna Pop right back up. Yes, notice it was all legs, right? Yeah, super legs, leg heavy motion here. 
Go ahead and try it. Wind up, pop your hand out, bring it back. Good, remember, palm faces towards you. You can think about as a scoop, but ignore the first half of the scoop and only get the last bit. <laughs> Just don't, don't give me any of this nonsense, please. But like, take the last bit, like a mini scoop of ice cream there, which is what I want later today. Let me some like triple chocolate fudge. Okay, I'm sorry if anyone's trying to not have ice cream now. Does that make sense for uppercuts? Cool. Uppercuts is gonna be the conditioning. You're going to lunge, pivot, lunge, pivot, but you're gonna be holding your weight. Oop. Oh yeah, and you're gonna lunge, and you're going to pivot and uppercut. Lunge, pivot and uppercut. If that's not feeling great on your knees, you can squat, uppercut, squat, uppercut. That's fine as well. Um, so depending on how it's feeling, actually stick to one side though, sorry. You're gonna turn your knee in on the uppercut, bring it back down on the squat, or pivot, uppercut. Go ahead and try it. Yeah, and try both sides for fun, just kind of get it under your belt there. I felt my legs getting a little tired just now. <laughs> yes, you totally got it. If you're lunging, it's the arm that's the same as the knee that's up when you start. Good, if you're facing your left, it's your left hand. I love it. Oh, you guys are so good. Uh, you might start to feel a little warm right here. I'm just doing it right. Okay, all right team, combo first, combo, combo. We're gonna get to it, gonna get to it. All right, we have a cross starting with a punch this time start with your cross you're gonna push off your lead leg for a lead leg roundhouse kick land it down bend down uppercut good that's it three techniques cross up lead round land it down uppercut good yeah do that three more times three more times cross lead round oh my god i did a kick twice sorry it's a kick then a punch <laughs> Cross, lead round, uppercut. Yeah, yeah, one more time, one more time. My, my body's like, what? Cross, lead round. Oh my God. <laughs> I just want to kick today. Cross, lead round, uppercut. Cross, lead round, uppercut. Yes. If your feet and knees don't want to do all of that turning, twisting work, just kind of stick your stance, kick like that. That's fine. Do what you got to do. Just try to bend a little, throw those hands. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. We'll do that for 30 seconds. We'll do the uppercuts for 30 seconds. Back and forth. Back and forth. You ready? Okay. All right, team. We might only do this for three minutes. I'm sorry. Time is ticking. All right, get ready, get set, and three, two, one, combo. Cross, lead round, uppercut. Good, keep going. Cross, kick, uppercut. Yes. Woohoo! Awesome. Good. Imagine you're trying to high five me with your hands on the uppercut. Uh, uh, up here. So aim for my hand. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. So the other one you're doing is a hook, which is fine. Also, but nice. Good. A little more hips on the uppercut. Boom. Nice. There you go. Love it. I'm so sorry. Three, two, one. Uppercut. I just got an extra long one. Yeah. Here we go. Pick a side. Stick to it. Halfway, you got this. Whether you're squatting or lunging, we're all moving, and that's the important part. Ten seconds. Woo! Put those weights down in three, two, one, combo. All righty. Same thing, cross, lead round, up again. That's okay. Yes. 
Pick up those weights in three, two, one. Up again, go for it. Same side. We are more than halfway, team. Whew. Last combo, three, two, one, here we go. Cross, lead hands, bang, I forget. Three, two, one. Up again. Last time on this side. We got this. Strong core, strong core. Remember, palm faces towards you on this one. Less than 10 seconds, team. You got this? And three, two, one, and break. Okay. With our last 10 minutes here, we're gonna do the same thing on the side. So let's try it real quick. A rear front kick, oh, from the top, top. Rear front kick. Jab, you're gonna step through with your left leg. Oop. Elbow. So let's try that, I know, I know. Rear front kick, land in your fight stance. Jab, step with your left leg. Elbow with your right arm, if you're right-handed. One more time, rear front kick. Jab, step, elbow, beautiful. And if you don't feel like turning because you're getting a little dizzy, that's fine, rear front, jab, elbow with the same arm. Cool. All right, we're gonna pick up those weights again and do the other leg with the push-ups. We gotta even out. All right, team, let's do it. We got four minutes on the clock and three, two, one, combo. You got this. Rear front. Jab. Elbow. Hoosa. Left leg step. Good. No worries, team, if you don't get it this time. Grab those weights. Three, two, one. Other leg. Oh, okay, 10 seconds. At this point, I just want you sweating. If you're sweating, you're awesome. You're fantastic. And three, two, one, combo. Let's give it a second go. Rear front, jab, elbow, reset. <laughs> All right, team, grab those weights. Three, two, one. Second time. You got this. Good, good, good. Nice work, team. Keep it going. 10 seconds. If those legs are getting tired, you can walk it instead of popping it. That's totally fine. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Combo. Rear front. Jab. Elbow. Woo! 
grab those weights in three, two, one. Here we go. And three, two, one, combo. Last time, rear front, jab, step over. You got it. All right, team, let's push through. Last set of lunges. Three, two, one, here we go. Whoa. Almost there, fighters. Last ones. And three, two, one, and break. Woo, okay. Last combo, because I want to make sure you're not uneven. <laughs> I'm so sorry, we might run like a couple minutes. Oh, I don't even know, Never mind. maybe, we'll see. Last combo, jab, rear leg, roundhouse kick, land back, bend down, uppercut. Yes, so this time, it feels weird because you're twisting away from your target. So you are facing away a little bit. Just bend down, push off this leg, boom, uppercut, right? My bad for not always showing you perfect form. Try to keep those hands up if you can. One more time and jab, rear round, land back, uppercut. Don't fall over like I just did. <laughs> yeah, and just remember on the uppercuts, make sure your palm turns towards you. So it's a little safer on your wrist. I mean, if you try to punch like this, you run the risk of hurting your wrist there. Cool. So turn that palm towards you. It's almost like you're high-fiving. Ah, oh, you know what we haven't done? Partner workouts. Maybe next year because of COVID. And you already know. Grab the weights in between. Uppercut on the other leg. All right? We're going to even those legs out. Grab those weights nearby. And combo. Three, two, one. Let's go. Jab. Rear round. Undercut, rear side. Jab, rear round, undercut. What did I do last time? <laughs> Sometimes I teach the wrong one because I forget I'm not handed. But I'm not supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna give you another 25 seconds here. So no worries, take your time. Jab, rear round, land it, rear uppercut. Good, remember, if you start to feel something in your knee, don't twist, just turn your feet wide and go a snap kick. All right, keep going. I'm kidding, three, two, one, grab those weights, uppercuts, let's do it. Pop it, pop it. Remember, you can squat if you want. Almost there, team. And three, two, one, combo. Second time, here we go. Jab, rear round. <laughs> Up again. And three, two, one. Grab those weights. Uppercuts again. Woo!
All right, team, let's work through it. Five seconds. And three, two, comma, last time. Jeff, rear around. Rear uppercut. Yeah. And three, two, one. Last time on those uppercuts. Whew. Come on. Let's get it. Yeah, come on. Almost there, fighters. Come on, 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And three. Two, one, and time. We're gonna take the last minute to do a bit of a cool down. And that's just gonna be a technique for funsies. Let's put it all together. Just the last one. Try it with me here, nice and slow. No need for power speed here. Rear front kick, land back, jab, spin. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. We did rear front kick, jab, spin. Elbow, good, spin back, and you're going to cross. Well, it's a jab, but whatever. And then lean around. I'm not gonna make you up a cut, it's a lot of bending. Not do that much. Getting your brains tired. Rear front kick, here we go. Rear front kick, jab, step, elbow, take it back. And got a jab, rear round. Eh. You can do either way. Oh my God, that works both ways. Let's do that. One last time. Rear front kick, jab, step, elbow, take it back. Let's go jab, rear round. If you feel like it, uppercut at the end. Oh, they kind of fit together sometimes, sometimes they don't, that's okay. But let's one last time for funsies. <laughs> you're good, you're good, Yan. Yep, rear front, jab, elbow. You got your jab, rear around, uppercut, whichever arm you want. Yes, fantastic, okay. Alrighty, do we actually have time? No, it's 5.15, oh my goodness. Fantastic work, everyone. Thank you for sticking it out. Usually I like to stretch, but today we don't have time. So if you would go ahead and wipe your mats down, wipe those weights down, step them on, so I set the mat, and maybe if you have time, you can like stretch over there before you leave uh -huh, uh -huh. or later tonight, right? If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks for coming, everyone. Bye, Amanda. Oh. Okay. Remind me of your name again. Jillian. Jillian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I knew it. I was like, oh, you're good. I was just, I was like, okay, I think it's, I wanted to double check. Remind me of your name. Sunny. Sunny? Yeah. Okay, cool. Will that show up on the, the swipe thingy? Yeah, is that okay? Or I can just, um, yeah, if swiping would be great, but I can also just click it in. How's it going? It turned itself off, so just give me a moment, sorry. Do you guys have any advanced like kickboxing or Muay Thai class? I wish. Um, here we do not. There's not even a Muay Thai club here, unfortunately. Um, are you one of these? No. No. Let's, I'm just gonna search your name. Would you mind if I looked at your husband? Sunny. Sunny. S-U-N-Y and Jiang. Two ends, okay. J I A N G. Okay. 
for that's my official name. Cool. How do you say it, Joshua? Yeah. I'm not great at it, but <laughs> ah, awesome. Okay. Yep. Oh, did it work? Yeah, and you are in the system. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, if you're curious, though, I do teach uh, alpha martial arts down the street. I think it's the closest. Um, uh, alpha martial arts. Alpha martial arts. If I Oh no way! Oh, it's there on Saturdays. Uh, wait, so is is it close to your Yeah. 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 Oh my god! Oh, do you do you take Muay Thai there? Um, as body because last on um, Monday we did uh like some running and things. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm good.
You guys look lost and confused. What's going on? <laughs> I know it's going to be upper body, so chest, back, shoulders, arms. I'd say more than five, less than 15. So, <laughs> so basically everything in here meets those criteria. And there's no harm in grabbing both. I mean, take yeah, two sets, definitely. fives and tens, and then kind of see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys should have told me to wear blue. <laughs> okay. Time to start the class. Oops, I'm two minutes over. Now I feel horrible. It's because no one came. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, and nobody is on Zoom, so this this could work. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not like actually crazy though. Like maybe I'm in the wrong meeting. Sarah's logged in, so that might be messing up things. Let's see. Oops, 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 oops. It's stressful because Mondays there's nobody in here before me, so I can come in and like figure it all out. But on Wednesdays, Sarah's class is here first, so I gotta like figured out immediately. <laughs> 